And good morning, Math Wizards. Welcome to Eureka Math in the Morning with Mr. Leggett. Hopefully it's good stuff in the morning, not the afternoon. It might be the afternoon, but start searching for a little more regular times. Let's get out our problem set, lesson 13. And once again, if you don't have your problem set with you, that's okay. You can follow along and maybe draw some pictures with me as we tackle this lesson. And we're still dealing in area. And you notice that this is going to be a little different because we have different sized rectangles joined together that we're going to have to figure out the area and the best way to do that. So let's take a look at our directions. Each of the following figures is um, made up of two rectangles, as mentioned. Find the total area of each figure. So not just of the one rectangle, but the total rectangle. So we can see that they've divided them right here, right here, right here, and uh, this one they just kind of left open. We could divide it right here, maybe. So I bet you're kind of already figuring out how to do this, knowing how smart you folks are. So we'll look at uh, figure one right here. And our question is, um, area of uh, A equals area of B. So we have A and B. So we got to add those together. So um, <clears throat> we take a look at um, 18 square units. So let's figure out which one of these is 18 square units. I imagine it's A, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. So area A has 18 square units. Let's take a look at area B. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Well, we can do 3 times 3, right, and get 9. And double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 18 square units plus 9 square units. I hope you can see that 9 okay. I'll get a little darker. And all we have to do is add those together to get the total area of this shape here. So 18 plus 9, well, we know our times tables. 18, uh, 2 times 9 is 18, add another 9, we would have 27 square units. And if you don't believe it, heck, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. But that takes a long time, right? We could do it quicker than that. Let's go to um, figure 2. We have areas C and D. So maybe I should label these so we could do them a little quicker. So here's 2, this side is 2, right there, okay. and this side is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So all we have to do is multiply 2 times 9 to get the area of, uh, of uh, C. And so um, what would that be? 2 times 9 is 18. So we can put our 18 right there. Then we've got to add on these square units. We have 1, 2, 3. And then I could put the cross right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have 3 times 5. And what does 3 times 5 equal? Well, 5, 10, 15. All right? So we're going to add 18 and 15 to get the area of both those rectangles together, those rectangular shapes. <coughs> so 18 plus 15, there's a couple of different strategies you could do to this in your head, right? We could take away 2 from the 18 and make that a 20, or 2 from the 15, so it would be 13, make that a 20, and then 20 plus 13 would be 33. Or you could stack it up and go 18 plus 15 if you like. 8 plus 5 is 13, carry the 1, 1, 2, 3, 33 square units. Let's go to our next one. This is figure, uh, boy, my eyes are so bad. Figure 3, we have 1, 2, 3 on this side, and then 3 on this side. So 3 times 3 for rectangle E, well, 3 times 3, 3, 6, 9, right? So we can put that right here. All right. And then we could go over here to see what's left on this side. We have one, two, three. And I could put my measurement on the my label on the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this shape, this portion is three by seven. This one was three by three. This is three by seven. And what's three times seven? 
7, 14, 21. So now we have 9 units plus 21 units. Well, what's 9 plus 21? 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, figure four, we had to do a little dividing here. I could have divided it right there too, but I thought this would be a, a uh, oops, let me see if I get you the screen right. Boy, I miss my studio and I miss all of you at the school too. It was a lot easier to do this school. So you have, uh, let's do the big one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By one, two, three, four, five. So this portion is 7 by 5. Let's go down here. We have 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these two shapes, G and H, these two rectangles put together. 5 times 7, think about our video that we used to watch all the time about count, counting to 100 by 5s for hide and go seek. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Stop. So 5 times 7 is 35. And then we have 2 times 10. Well, we all know that. 10, 20, right? So now we have 35 plus 20. This, this area is 35 and this is 20. 35 plus 20. 35, 45, 55. So what we've had to do is determine the area for each rectangle and then add them together because they're all one shape. Okay, let's continue on. We'll flip over the back. And once again, if you don't have this, maybe you could draw pictures along with us or just kind of visual it in your, visualize it in your mind. And on two, it says the figure shows a small rectangle cut out of a bigger rectangle. So they cut this out right here. We had a big rectangle and someone zip, 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 cut that out. It says find the area of the shaded figure. Well, we have to really think about this, don't we? Okay, we have this big rectangle. 10 centimeters by 9 centimeters, but then we've cut this part out. Well, so we need to figure out the area of this and of the whole thing. So let's figure out the area of the entire rectangle before the cutting took place. So it'd be 10 times 9. Well, we all know 10 times 9 is 90. And then what we're going to do is subtract this area that got cut out. What is this area? It's 4 by 3. And what's 4 times 3? 4, 8, 12, right? So we're going to put 12 here. So we have 98 minus 12. Well, this is a good time for us to review a little subtraction. Let's do 90 minus 12. I know many of you are tempted to do this in your head, which is great. But let's just go ahead and review it. I can't take two ones away from zero ones. So I'm going to borrow a 10. 10 minus 8. 10 minus 2 is 8. And 8 minus 1 is 78. So 90 minus 12 is 78. So the area of this, the shaded figure is 78. You see, we had 90 originally, and then we took out 12. So 90 minus 12 is 78. So this shape is now 78 square centimeters. All right. Let's continue on down with this one. This was a little more complicated, more complex. And it says the figure shows a small rectangle cut out of a big rectangle. Well, here's the big rectangle, right? So here's the small rectangle. It says, label the unknown measurements. All right, we need to label here and here, but how, can, how in the world can we find that out? So think about this. I know this is 9, and this is 4. Hmm, so 9 minus 4 is what? Well, 9 minus 4 is 5. So this becomes 5 centimeters. Notice, 4 plus 5 is 9, and there's 9 right there because we know this side right here. Well, we know this is 7, we know this is 3, so 3 plus what will get me to 7? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 plus 4. You see this? 4 plus 5 is 9. 3 plus 4 is 7. So let's take a look at the area of the big rectangle before we cut it, right? It was 7 times 9, or 7 times 9, 7 times 9. Remember, we're just doing the length times the width, so 7 times 9 is 63 square minutes. 63 square centimeters. Now we're going to look for the area of the small rectangle, this rectangle right here, okay? What would that be? Hmm, let's think about it. What would this be? I would take this side by this side, right? So 4 times 5 is 20 centimeters, so 4 times 5, 
5, 10, 15, 20, all right, is 20. So originally this was all 63, right? 7 times 9, 7 times 9, or 7 times 9. And then we took this part out, which is 5 by 4. So we can see that this area in here was 20 centimeters. So then it says, find the area of the shaded, right? What's left? So we would take the total that we had, which is 63, and we sub subtract 20, the part we cut out. 3 minus 0 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, and our answer is 43 square centimeters. And I hope you enjoyed that um, edition of... Mr. Leggett's math in the morning. Well, it's Princess Yvonne. How are you doing, Princess Yvonne? Oh, I'm a bit sad because I miss being in the classroom to teach the kids. Oh, yes, and I imagine they miss you too. Yes, and I want to say a special shout out to Kaylin and Melody for completing their lessons yesterday. Good job, you two. Well, thank you so much for checking on that, uh, Princess Yvonne. We appreciate having you around to help out. Ah. Well, I don't know what that meant, but thank you anyways. You're welcome. Bye for now, Prince Yvonne. Bye for now, math wizards. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.